Hey everyone, welcome to my boudoir. We're gonna look at some cramps today. We've had a request. This was requested by W.R. Klein. Uh, can you do a lesson on the cramp style guitar? There only seems to be lessons on human fly and goo goo muck. Um, yeah, let's have a look at some riffs that I like and we can talk about what kind of methods are being used there. So Poison Ivy played a big 6120 similar to this. First song we're going to look at is Rockin' Bones. It's on the Psychedelic Jungle album. It was done by Ronnie Dawson, but originally it was also done by Elroy Deitzel and the Rhythm Bandits in 1957. I think I said that right. Dietzel. Deitzel, Dietzel. Anyway, the cramps play like this. So we're starting off with a B and an A for that intro. Then it's straight into the riff, which is single notes, starting on the E string. We'll keep playing that riff for a while. will move to the A. Just have a listen to the record and see when it does that. And for that we're just moving up one set of strings. Back to the E. And the first time round it kind of just plays that. But then we get to, I guess you'd call it a verse. And there's some stops in there. It's the same notes here. That goes up to the A as well. Back to the E. to that kind of chorus part again but this time after that it's going to go to the B and the A for a little turnaround. And then ending on the E with a pause. Best thing to do is play along to the record and see when those changes are. It's fairly simple, just gotta listen out for what's happening. So you got something like this. turn around so that's rocking bones on psychedelic jungle next up we're going to look at strict nine which is done by the sonics originally uh, the cramps version goes a little bit like this So on this version we can hear two guitars, we can hear one guitar doing single notes. It's 
fairly nice and simple. We're starting on the A string on the second fret, and to the G, third fret on the E string, up to the A, which is the fifth fret on the E string, down to the F sharp, the second fret on the E string. And then there's a second guitar, and that sounds like it's doing full bar chords. So we're taking that shape. Instead of starting on the B here on the second fret of the A string, we've got a B here on the seventh fret of the E string. Play that bar chord. And we're just going to move that around. So starting on the seventh fret, down to the third, up to the fifth, and to the second. So you've got a B, G, A, F sharp. So when you're playing that, you can mix it up and do a bit of both. Yeah, next up we've got a chorus. So we go to the E, just your cowboy chord, E major there. And we go to the B. Play it like a power chord. If you leave your third finger on to bar that, you're kind of making a bit of a bar chord. Or your little finger. Back to E. And yeah, F sharp. With some kind of stops. So for the chorus. Next up is a very cool solo played by Poison Ivy. I'll show you the start of that for now and then she kind of goes off on one, kind of bit of improvising, going out of tune, doing stuff, I don't know. Uh, if you want me to sit and figure it out, let me know in the comments. That's something I can do later maybe. Uh, but I'll show you the start of it because that's pretty simple. <laughs> So double stops here, so it's your first two strings, your top two strings. Starting on the seventh fret, going to your fifth, and then going to your ninth. So just listen to that and see what she does. Then she does go up to the twelfth, and then goes pretty mental around here. So we've got... And... We've played this before in my band, we've covered this, so I've kind of simplified it, I can show you what I do. I kind of repeat that again up there, higher up. Just to keep it simple, you could just solo around in the B chord. Something like that. So if you're keeping it in B, that works. You can use your minor pentatonic in B. You can use some double stops. Do your little Chuck Berry bend. Yeah, just have fun messing around with that. I think. Poison Ivy does like a nice little slide down at some point. I've not studied it yet. Like I say, if you want me to work it out, let me know. I'll have a go. That's Strict Nine.
Okay, and someone mentioned that they like stuff from A Date With Elvis. So this song is from A Date With Elvis. It's called What's Inside A Girl. I'm just gonna show you the start of that because it's got a really nice intro. Um, let's have a look at that. Starting off in A for this one. With this one especially, you can hear some slapback echo on there. I've got the Space Echo RE20, but anything with a quick one repeat will sound good. The intro riff goes like this, we're in A. Then we're going up the octave to uh, an A up here. Plays that twice. Then we go up to this little pattern here. Back to your first one. go to the E. So all together you've got this. it what's inside a girl let me know if you want to see more cramp stuff because i'm enjoying playing these and working them out if you enjoyed this let me know in the comments please uh, check out the website as well if you want to buy some merch i'm also going to start a patreon very soon with some extra videos and bonus stuff so stay tuned for that stuff thanks for watching and i'll see you later